We're here at the, in Barcelona with the Pioneer, and uh, who are you? My name is Deirdre Lead. I'm here with Pioneer's latest earphone, the Raze Smart Noise Cancelling Lightning Powered Earphone. So this is noise cancelling? Yes, it is. And it's lightning? So it's lightning powered. We draw power directly from the lightning port on your iPhone, but we do a lot more. We use signal processing and smart technology that's built into a chip embedded in this very small remote to customize the noise canceling performance for each person. There's a chip in there. There's a chip in here. This is the first product to use Apple's newest generation lightning audio technology, and it's built onto a chip made by Avnera Corporation. Which one? It's built Avnera. by Avnera. They're a Portland-based silicon manufacturer, and so this is the first product to take advantage of that new innovation. So it might be a Cortex M0 Plus or something, a very small core? A very small, a very small chip. A DSP or something? DSP. It fits all within this very small remote. And it takes power from uh, the phone? It takes power from the phone. And it has small microphones near the ears or? So yes, this headphone has a total of six microphones. Two microphones in each earpiece and two microphones in the remote. And those microphones allow us to do a number of intelligent features. They allow us to do things like smart noise canceling. So the noise canceling performance will be calibrated custom to the fit for each person. We also have a technology called on-ear detection. That lets the headphone know when it's in your ears and when it's out. So it can automatically pause music, it can restart it, and it can automatically shut down the headphones. How do you know that? Do you have a little camera in there? How does it know? <laughs> That's a great question. So no, we actually use the microphones and we use the driver. The driver puts out, the speaker puts out a small uh, inaudible tone and it's measured by the microphones. And based on that measurement, the microphone would know if it's in your ear or out of your ear. So that's called the Raise Plus. And you also Raze have the Raise Plus. Normal. What's the difference between the two? Very important difference. One of the biggest um, needs that iPhone users have with the lightning port is the ability to be able to charge their phone while they're using an earphone. And we are now giving them that ability. Via this Whoa. small port, you can now use your headphones and, if I may, by plugging your charging cable in right here, now you can charge your phone and still listen to your earphones at the same time. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. You're so the first one to do this, we're right? We're the first ones and the only ones that have this capability today. And the difference between our two models is our basic model, Rays, has all of the smart technology. The Rays Plus offers the integrated charging port. That's really cool. So how much uh, and how soon? So we're currently taking pre-orders in the United States for both Rays and Rays Plus. The Rays model is $99.95 and the Rays Plus model is $149.95. So, is there any chance we can have it on Android with USB Type-C? We're going to have to wait and see. For right now, now it's Apple, Apple. Ti uh, Lightning. It is. All right. And I would be mistaken if I didn't talk about our app. Oh yeah, what's going this on there? This app allows you to customize your experience even further. It lets you run the calibration sequence. It lets you create your own custom equalization should you want to. It offers the ability to program the smart button. So you can do things like turn on the hear through technology, you can do mic mute for when you're on phone calls. You can program a smart button. Where is the smart button? So the button? smart button here, this is a button, the fourth button. The top three are your standard volume up, play pause, volume down. But this button right here gives you access to a lot of the functions that people use on their iPhones every day. So for example, um, I love to have the smart button programmed for Apple Music. So if I'm walking down the street and I want to turn my music on, I simply press the button and now my music has popped up and I can start it automatically. Nice. Yeah, very convenient. If I'm talking on the phone, what I love about that feature is this can also be my mute button. So now I can mute my phone call and I don't have to go back into my phone and unlock the screen to access the unmute function. I can just press the button again and I've unmuted. It's very nice, uh, and this all this stuff is only possible because it took off the uh, the mini jack, right? Because it, it, you wouldn't be able to do all this over mini jack. You right? can't do it over mini jack. You, you do need digital. You stuff need the digital. You need you need to be able to access the intelligence of the apps and the functions of your phone, and blend it with the performance of a high quality accessory like this one from Pioneer. So through a standard jack, you get audio. 
via the lightning jack, you get power and so much more intelligence available to you. So now they just need to make a phone with a several day battery life and then they will come to <laughs> But there's a lot of... Uh, no, lot this, of this is great. You're the first one to really take advantage of this, even better than what Apple's doing with their uh, headphones, no? Well, I will say that um, the technology that's in here with the lightning audio module and Avnera's uh, chip, they did collaborate with Apple on this. So I think Apple is... Ex I can't speak for Apple. I think that they would be very happy to know that somebody is taking advantage of the product. They should bundle this with the next iPhone. <laughs> Wouldn't I love that? Yeah.